He's like a car. What's the matter, pub? Is everybody outside without you? You stuck in here with me? Hey. What's up, man? Hey, you good for a D&D? On a scale of 1 to 10, how high do we think Isaac's going to be? <laughs> He's hopping on at some point. <laughs> <All right>. high. <laughs> it's always high. He's just, he, he's just high eating like a fucking ham sandwich right now. I mean, it is 420, so you can't blame <laughs> yeah, me. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> this is the I, first year. Oh, I go said ahead. to my wife today, I was like, Aggie, Aggie, it's 420. And she's like, yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah, but it's 420. And I had to, like, explain it to her. <laughs> this is the first year I think I've seen, like, 420 marketing from, like, regular companies. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I got a push notification for my Pizza Hut app. It's, like, uh, it's like baked, question mark, not our pizzas. <laughs> and then it's, uh, I, I ordered some cookies from Insomnia Cookies, and they had, like, specialty, like, 420 cookies where it was a peanut butter cookie with potato chips on it. It looked disgusting. Ugh. I don't like the sound. I don't think I could be high enough for that to be appetizing. Yeah. Stacia tried to call. A... What? Well, I don't know what she's trying to do. What are we trying to do? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let me get back to my computer and then we can start without Isaac. Did you hear him? On the phone? Oh. What? Did you hear him on the phone? He's like, no. Up? I'm like, are you good for D&D? He's like, oh. Yeah, I'm just eating real quick. Give me a sec. <laughs> All right. All right. Final loot divvy um, from the Dragon's Horde. I put all of the gold and silver evenly into your inventories. I think you got 30 gold and 160 silver each. Uh, there is the fancy battle axe that Trey has claimed, and there is also a uh, two scrolls. We've got a scroll of lightning bolt and Ooh. a scroll of misty step. I think I'm, thinking I'm the only one that can do anything with those. Um, I'll take a misty step. Okay. Um. Sure. I'll put those in your inventories. Um, Charlie, Can I... you use the spell, Stacia? I'm checking. I think Misty Step is for sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards. All right, so not you, you, you can't just read the scroll and just do it. No, are you are you can learn like you can. I think you can cast them if you have the ability, and you can also right. like if I try to learn them, there's like a fifty fifty shot. I can just add it to my spell book. Okay. Yeah, if you would like more gold, I can arrange that. I have some. Nah, I'm alright. I don't really care. Uh, I'm gonna actually Google real quick how, just in case scrolls can be performed. Uh, DM, no, I either. added a shield into my inventory that Ulrich gave me. Cool. And I have it equipped, so now my AC is 18. Pretty nice. Can I go and try and find those, like, w weird plant monsters and just, like, Hey, are yeah. you guys getting the uh, the certificate expiry warning for uh, Foundry? Oh yeah, sorry, my uh, certificate expired. Two yeah, it said, yeah, it said <laughs> yeah. Chrome was like, you don't want to go on this website. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm glad it just wasn't me. No, it's just I do a homemade certificate. I don't have, I don't buy one. Okay. Um, sorry. I just confirmed that spell scrolls can only be used by whoever the class for the original spell is. So wizards, Unfortunately. Uh, but if you guys are willing to return the incense to the necromancer today, I think he will have something for you, specifically Stacia. 
Yeah. Cause I do feel bad. You guys, you, you and, and Annette, lore wise, or like from the book specifically, the book tells me exactly which loot to give. There's not been much for you guys yet. Okay, nice. Thick. Okay. Uh, so that's it for the loot div divvying up. And uh, Trey wants to go test out his new axe. If you remember, the squirrel that's told here. you where you could potentially find some, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tree some enemies. I just want to find one. I don't want to find any like anything other than the tree thing. So I'm just going to like wander around the bushes for a little bit until something pops out. Okay, yeah, you definitely can do that. So you're just wandering around outside. And what are these? These are twig blights. So... <laughs> 1v1 this twig blade real quick. I attack. <laughs> Recklessly. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. 18. It's a hit. Uh, damage. What does versatile mean? I do not know. Um, for your damage though, Trey, you actually do maximum. That's the whole point of Hue is that it does maximum damage. So, so you don't need to roll for it. It's just 8 plus 5. It does 13 damage flat. It's a twig blight. It has four HP. So congratulations. Sweet. He's <laughs> 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 fucking great. That thing. <laughs> great. All right. Hopefully some plant monsters are in this castle that we're supposed to go to. Uh, the other benefit is that it can also do maximum damage against anything made of wood. So if you're trying to bust down a door, it seems like it could be a pretty effective oh, tool for that. I know what versatile means. If I dual hand the the axe, it, it's a D10 oh. instead of a D8. So actually, I'm gonna. I don't want to. I don't want the shield anymore. I mean, I'll still take it, but I'm gonna dual wheel it instead. Okay. All right. Um, you guys are free to return to Radoth with the flowers that he needed. Yeah. yeah let's do that then. Just do that. All right, let's do this, do this really quickly. Uh, he takes them, and he pretty quickly, he's, he's a man of few words. He uh, he just grunts a, a nod of approval and says, uh, take care of that dragon, I assume? Yeah, we, we fucked him Wait, up. Wait, he knew bit. it was a dragon? Yeah. You asshole, oh, you want to tell yeah. us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he just he just silently keeps preparing the incense, and after, let's say, 30 minutes, he, he, has, uh, he has some special incense sticks ready for you. Um, Charlie, I forgot to mention that Ulrich had an additional 150 gold in his pouch from the one session that you missed. Um, that was a, like, a, a deposit from the guy who was requesting you to get this incense. Oh. Because the incense was 300. Um, but you did make an agreement with Radoth to do it, get it for free if you cleared out the dragon. So he hands over one stick of the incense to you, and it glows um to a certain extent it kind of sparkles um, and glows lightly in the dark i'm not gonna say this out loud but do we know for a fact that the dragon's not gonna come back um are you asking me or rid off <laughs> i'm asking you <laughs> i guess you all have no way of knowing yeah, <laughs> Seems... all right. well fuck this guy he didn't tell us shit so if the dragon <laughs> comes back and eats him i don't care <laughs> All right, so you, uh, you've you got your incense, and I assume you're going to head back uh, to the main trail. Did you want to stop at the old owl well on the way back to Fendlin, or did you want to go to Fendlin first? Uh, what? Yeah, let's just go to the well. Just knock that out. Why not? Okay. So you show up, and Kost is commanding his army. They're all digging around the well itself again. They're very organized, and he seems very happy to see you guys forget what his voice is, if anything, but uh, welcome back! <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't remember there being a voice. You weren't Did here. you meet this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, you definitely don't remember a voice at all. <laughs> he was supposed to have a uh, like a very slow, monotonous voice, but I forget. I think I just spoke as... What are all these like zombie-looking things here? Oh, yeah, you were not here yet, uh, or last time either okay so he is a necromancer he has a horde of zombies under his control that he is using to <laughs> do an archaeological dig on this site <laughs> trying to find magical artifacts <laughs> annual labor you know <laughs> yeah he's, try he's trying to find like diamonds and quartz crystals and stuff like that he's just really into like anthropology <clears throat> So he uh, he walks over and the uh, the zombies keep um, keep working and he asks, uh, "Do you have the incense?" We sure do. 
he reaches out and grabs it, uh, and his hand moves so quickly uh, that it just disappears before you can realize where it's gone. Uh, he says, thank you so, so much. Oh, um, I have a gift for you. And he hands Stacia a scroll of moonbeam. Moonbeam. Ooh. I just need to add that to your character sheet. Who's... Oh. Scroll of moonbeam. All right, so yeah, the uh, description of that. A silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five-foot radius, 40-foot high cylinder, centered on a point within range. The range is 120 feet. Uh, until the spell ends, dim light fills the cylinder. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain, and it must make a constitution saving throw. It takes 2d10 radiant damage on a failed oh. save, or half as much damage on a successful one. <clears throat> and it, uh, shapeshifters have disadvantage, and uh, it will revert to its original form if it fails. Mm. I figure that's supposed to be um, useful for something. Yep. And he also reaches out to the paladin of the group. And he offers to sell him a scroll of Shield of Faith. But Isaac's not here, so maybe... Bob, can... you're taking away. What are you saying? <laughs> I mean, buy it and we'll, we'll give it to him and he can pay us. I'm sure he's going to want it. All right, he says it's 60 gold. 60? Goddamn. Who is rich? Which one was that? Was that Ulrich? Mm. I mean, we could, like, split it, what, five ways? Ten, six ways? No, it he should says, just be one person. He can pay us back. Well, Isaac's in online right now, so <laughs> we could just ask him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think, hey, uh, Koth, do you, like, are you, uh, can I sell stuff to you? Only magical items. Uh, I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out the jeweled eye patch that I have and be like, "Is this magic?" He places a hand on it and closes his eyes for a second and says, "No, but I do like it." It's ten pounds. <laughs> Is this magic? <laughs> I don't know why it's ten pounds, but. <laughs> oh yeah, I probably didn't update the uh, weight for when I duplicated an item. <laughs> so uh, heavy. How much does it say it's worth? I know I updated that. Uh... He says he'll give you 30. Okay, deal. Yeah. Actually, don't yeah. delete it from your inventory. I want to... Or did you already? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Okay, I'm going to put it in his, actually, because I think he's going to start wearing it. Oh, awesome. I'm going to get rid of this fucking dirty red cloak, too. I don't want that. I'm just going to okay. drop it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a little disrespectful. <laughs> hey, just, <sit> there. <laughs> just give it to one of your uh, zombies. Like the leader zombie, you know? So you know which one's the leader. <laughs> he thinks about it and he uh, yeah. he, he, he nods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picks it up and it disappears into his robe somewhere instantly. Uh, Isaac is muted, but if he can get that sorted out... Oh, I muted him last time. Okay, hey, Isaac. I'm muted? No, I can't. Uh, not anymore. Oh, okay. No, I was just being quiet. I wasn't muted. Okay. Are you blitzed? <laughs> Happy 420. <laughs> 20. Guys, I love that you're thinking about me. <laughs> um, okay, so you, uh, this mage here, Cost the Necromancer, he's offered to sell you specifically a new scroll, a new spell for your arsenal called Shield of Faith. It uh, says, a shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, which is 60 feet, granting it a plus two bonus to armor for the duration, which is 10 minutes. So who do you plan on using it on? Because they should like at least cover half of it. This is for me? Yeah, it's a, it's a paladin exclusive spell. Yeah, it gives oh, whoever shit. you cast it on plus two bonus AC for like the combat duration, I guess. Yep. <coughs> oh, okay, yeah. No, that, that sounds sweet. 
Uh, so he says it's 60 gold and it's yours. Oh, I'm I'm still trying to get on to like the like the foundry site, Ethan. For some reason, the link I have isn't like opening anymore. Oh, is it giving you a warning? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to hit advance and then proceed anyways, because my certificate expired. Come on, Ethan. I didn't even realize it until like two hours ago. <laughs> I'm not, Damn, not tampering son. with the server. Yeah. Damn, son, uh, how could you do this to me, boy? boy? That said, you have approximately 150 gold total, if you want me to just do it for you real quick. Damn, yeah, give me 60 of the motherfuckers. I'm fucking balling out of control right now. Pay the man, sir. Pay the man. All right. <clears throat> so he thanks you all, and he says that he's going to get started on um, practicing the ritual with the uh, the mystical incense right away, uh, and that he will be in contact with you all when it's ready. Yeah. Ethan, what are malachite gems? Malachite. Just, uh, I think just like a cheap common type of gem. It's not meant to be anything specific, it's just, uh, what gives it its little bit of value. Uh, Koth, do you want these just two? See y'all. What? Fifteen for both of them. Fifteen for both of them? He looks at them and, uh, he accepts. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking money 101 over here. <laughs> Fucking money 101. 367. <clears throat> Alright, he uh, he bids you all farewell and turns back, snaps his fingers, and the zombies get back to work. Alright, see you later. Right, right, where down. to next? You guys wanted to stop at Fandolin, I assume? Yeah, drop off that emerald. All right, we'll do one. We'll do one roll for a travel encounter. Hang on, okay. just in case. I'll, I'll I'll keep watch. Okay, so then I think you have to roll a d12 or a d20. Let me check. A d20. D20. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Cool. All right, you sleep through the night. <coughs> we'll say that everybody is rested. Uh, Iggy's gonna be sitting this one out. Am I missing anybody? Oh no, Iggy. Is um <laughs> Drool with us? And the dog? Where's the dog? Yeah, where, where's my boy Droop? He <laughs> <laughs> uh, was supposed to be getting me sweet oil and he never returned. <laughs> 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 I think he's waiting for you in Pandolin. <laughs> he's just standing at the he's just standing at the bar. <laughs> like wait, like looking at the door like a dog. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you guys make it to Fandolin. Was it that you were trying to return the uh, emerald to? I don't remember her name, man. She's just a random lady we saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very random. Yeah. <clears throat> Mom. Okay, yeah, her. Uh, let me look up what your reward is. Dude, there's so many NPCs in this, it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I go to her house. We know where her house is. Yes, you do. I open the door with her. Uh, her name is Mirna. Mirna. Yeah, she she offers you all of the gold she has, which is Whoa. 220 gold for it. <laughs> Bro, your kids are going to be fucking hungry tonight, and I take the gold. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how many players have we got? We got one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. All right. Uh, yeah, but you don't have to five, split it with people who aren't here if you don't want to. Five. That's pretty nice and even, right? Yeah. That's like forty two, gold each, I think. Two twenty. Forty should be forty-five. Forty-five. I think. Is it? Uh, is it two? Yeah, we'll say it's forty. We'll say it's forty-five each. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> 44, okay. but sure. If anybody needs me to add that to their character sheet because they're unable, let me know. I'm all red pop. 45 more gold. Don't yep. mind if I do. Um, can I just head over to Lion Shield Coster really quick? 
Are you going solo? Yeah, I just want to like, I I don't want to take too much time. Um, and I yeah, just, definitely. Like, I just go up to her and I say, and I just like unload all the weapons that I don't want: a Morning Star, four spears, a great club, two long swords. Um, fucking, and like, like a dozen quivers full of bolts. <laughs> I'm like, hey, she, uh... 100 gold for all of this? How about we call it even? How much? 100. Uh, she laughs at and says, where did you get this junk? This looks goblin made. I don't know. I just mm. picked it up. <laughs> she yeah, says, it's not um... all of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some of it was definitely like pulled off of goblins for sure. Uh, I have zero trace. 100 reasonable? I don't actually remember what it is. I have no idea. Happened. I'm just okay. Uh, she says she'll give you 60. How about 60? Sure. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, she whispers a little something to you. Oh, yeah? Check your something. message. On Discord. God, when was the last time we talked on Discord? I don't know. A while ago? February? Hmm. All right, so you have your quick little conversation, oh, and okay. she thanks you. All right, you head back outside, and the group is kind of waiting for you in the in the courtyard over here. Howdy, y'all. Hello, friend. I was perhaps a bit entertained by uh, the uh, the priestess lady spewing her her information at the shrine of luck. I guess we can say you guys have had a long day and it's getting late if you want to get rested up before you head to Cragmaw Castle. Is there like a Thieves Guild or anything in the, whatever this city is, Phandal Phandalorn? Uh, you could head to the Sleeping Giant, which is the very seedy bar. There was a Thieves Guild, but the, the group uh, went out of their way to dismantle it. It was called the Red Brands. Oh. It's still a, it's still a CD bar if you wanted to go there for some reason. I didn't realize that was a thief skill. I thought they were just regular thugs. I think I thought it was just scumbag central. You know, it's like the trashy. Bar. <laughs> okay, well, I guess if a thieves guild is supposed to be something more formal, then I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it's definitely <laughs> scumbag central for sure. Hey, it depends. I'm looking for like that high class thieves guild, not a, uh, you know, ruffians. In this town, um, it's like Paris. I don't know. <laughs> you could you could you could go to the sleeping giant to check. All right. Well, Up to does you. anybody want to go get a drink before we crash? Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's do let's, it. Let's see. We're gonna reuse the map for the Stonehill Inn, and we'll just imagine that it's seedier, but same layout. Uh, so you walk in. It's much Dusty. more dimly lit, <laughs> and uh, all you see is one bartender. And we'll say that maybe over in this corner, there's like two two hooded figures. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, being uh, mysterious. I'm going to go uh, up and just buy like a couple of Shirley yeah. Temples for yeah. the boys over there. <laughs> Shirley Temple, Shirley Temple, please. I, I, just, I take my ornamental dagger out. Hello. Like Can I get a ye old sprite with a grenadine in it, please? <laughs> ye olde, ye olde <laughs> pomegranate, please. Okay, all right. There's a lot going on here. Okay, so the uh, the bartender, he, he smirks, but he goes ahead and starts making your drinks in silence as you ask. Um, who are you twirling the uh, the dagger to? Like the bartender or the guys I'm in the corner? Just leaning on the bar, like playing with it and like looking around the room. Strong. Okay. Uh, so you can very clearly see that the two guys in this corner over here have stopped their conversation and are just completely paying attention to all of you. Uh, <laughs> one of them smirks and he starts twirling his dagger under the table too. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh shit! A good old fashioned twirl off. <laughs> wow, it's fucking edgy in here. Dude, it's uh, it like high school so musical edgy. in here. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna start snapping. Come over. <laughs> it's gonna be like. <laughs> this I'm gonna, is I'm gonna do like killed. a sleight of hand and uh, like slide the dagger up my sh my shirt sleeve. Okay. Uh, There's without... magic involved. <laughs> uh, roll a sleight of hand. Right. Roll a one. I want to see you stab yourself in the arm. He just, he just slits his wrist vertically. Oh my god! Oh, that was that was close. All right, so you pull off your little magician's <laughs> trick, and uh, they 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 both Listen, smile. I think you're cool. 
Without even looking at each other, uh, one guy slams his hand onto the table, and then the other guy with the dagger starts putting the knife quickly between his fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over and, and, and start doing it in between his fingers at the same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this is the type of action I like to see. Uh, hey, we'll, 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 say, we'll say that counts as a sleight of hand, too. Right. It's, it's similar, similar skill set. Two men of high faith in their skill. Alright, <laughs> they're, they're very impressed. <laughs> and um, one of them whispers a little something in your ear, I'll send you a message. Okay. <laughs> Barkeep, are those Shirley Temples ready yet? I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he slides them down the bar to you. <laughs> Delicious. I'm so thirsty, that entire show made me very hot. <laughs> Just a round of Shirley Temples for all my friends. I was just I'm... sweating the entire time. He says, <laughs> he says five Shirley's, that'll be, uh, that'll be five gold. Five gold? That's a, that's a steep drink. How about we call he, it twelve silver? He smiles at you, <laughs> at, like a, he, he smiles and you see a gold encrusted tooth, and he says, "All right, you're not a you're not a newbie like I thought." And he takes he takes your twelve silver. Nice. You cheap bastard. You think I'm a fucking? <laughs> you think I'm a fucking chump? <laughs> you're a cheap bastard. Think I'm some sort of poser. <laughs> gold and just throw it throw it to the bartender and, and apologize for my my friend, my acquaintance. He's a little confused, but he pockets the gold in one smooth motion and gets back to right. cleaning the bar. I'm trying to make a good impression with my new cloak here. Alright. Alright. Do you have rooms here? <laughs> he says, he says not, for, here, not for please. you. <laughs> yeah, we can sleep here. He says not for you. Not for me. Oh, you're fucking racist. I see it. I fucking walk out. What are they going to do? Make us leave? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Dude, he can't even move us. How loudly do you yeah, say right. that? <laughs> I say it pretty confidently. I say that with my chest, all right? Like, I say that. All right. I think the bartender is going to hop across the bar and do a little bit of a brawl. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We'll, we'll use this guy. <laughs> he's he's him up boy. a little bit. I I, I'll, I just turned to my new friends and like like hit him and be like, hey hey hey, check it out. We got a show. Hey, I'm gonna cast blindness on the barkeeper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can blind or deafen a foe. I choose one creature, and they have to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh my God! We're not All right. Why? All right. We're not. That's pretty fucking funny. Okay. Uh, constitution. He has a flat ten. So he's blind. He's just a level one guy. Oh. He rolls a sixteen. What did what what did he have to beat? Oh, I think he had to be the 13. Seven. All right. So he's not blinded. Damn. Um, Do we roll initiative right now? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, can I, I don't know. I don't want this. It's just, it's just a fist fight. He has a sword. You can see it's strapped to his side. You didn't see it behind the bar, but uh, he doesn't pull it out. He's just throwing punches. <laughs> can it's, I just uh, take let's, my let's... Shirley the Temple glass and just smash it over his fucking head? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Wait. I'm going to catch <laughs> Can I cast blindness on him now? <laughs> Hang on, wait. <laughs> We're gonna just simplify this, and everybody gets a turn with fighting the bartender. <laughs> Everyone rolls a 1d4 versus his 1d4. Alright, first up is Bulldrag. I roll a 1d4. <laughs> yeah. Let me get your ass. Game is paused. Can you unpause it so I can move my guy around? Because I'm not. Okay. Here. Yeah. Dude, you just got fucking. You just got clapped by the bartender. All right. It's combined, right? The bar and All you right. Take... You take a punch to the face. It does one HP damage to you. Uh, Bahamir rolls a three. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender just dispatched a bartender rolls you. another four. <laughs> this guy John oh, here, you're, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna take two damage. <laughs> 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 
Oh god. Oh Rick, what are you doing? He eyed you. He eyed you. I already tried to make the guy blind. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah. Uh, Iggy, Iggy is in here. Uh, oh yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, sorry, Jax, I'll add you. Okay. And yeah, I just moved over to the table. Oh, I'm here. Oh wait. Oh oh okay. Whatever. Yeah yeah. Whatever. Uh, Sequoia, did you want in on this bar? No, fight? I'm just gonna, gonna sit at the bar and drink my Shirley Temple like a responsible adult. <laughs> Okay. Can, I, can I go into a rage? Oh my god, why? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna step in at this point. I'm gonna, like, okay. throw my dagger at his hand and try and knock his thing out of his hand. Uh, Bulldrag's hand, you're gonna throw what? Knock what? My, my glass. What? Oh, the glass? What glass? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw my, my drink glass at him. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Just like that, too. Cracking voice and everything. We'll say uh, we'll say that it's a hit, and it's up to Bulljack if he, he simmers down. Uh, that makes me more angry. <laughs> what? Bulldrag, oh my Bulldrag, god! Bulljack, it's okay. It's for our. Just these words. roll another d4. Just <laughs> lie in this bed I made, Bulljack. It is okay. Yeah, we'll I got it. Fight the bartender. <laughs> it's a four. <laughs> All right, so the the bartender jumps you again, but this time you shove him off, and he uh, he walks behind the bar. <laughs> there we go. Situation diffused. Okay, I, t I I I come down from my rage, and I walk up and I say, "All right, another Shirley Temple, please." <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Baldrick, I need you to roll a um, survival check. A survival check. Yeah. He's gonna fucking poison you. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. Uh, you don't. Yeah, you don't notice anything. But he he refuses to serve you all, and he just says to get the fuck out. <laughs> wow. He points. He points to you. You three. Uh, Sequoia. He says Sequoia and Jax can stay. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do I have to leave? <laughs> you to blind him. Yeah, you he didn't to know that. Him. How you doing? He knows what elf magic looks like. I was okay, just wait, standing there mumbling wait. to myself. Let me let me check. Is it just a mumble? It's just a mumble, man. <laughs> it no, is just no, a man. mumble. I think he got. I think he got weird vibes from you. He, maybe he's racist. <laughs> he's, just <laughs> racist. he's just racist. Yeah. Yeah, you you are a fucking racist piece of shit, and I'm leaving. I'm gonna go see if it's the bushes. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, Jackson, Sequoia, you guys can finish your uh, right. your your drinks in peace. Oh, Everyone man, else, I'll, oh, go I'll ahead. leave, but you hit like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I I I'm still talking to these guys. So what what do they say? I'm messaging you. Oh, okay. They're like, man, that fight was sick. That green guy would have fucked him up for sure. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. It's like All no right. question. Hey, I don't. Do, I don't. Do I, I don't fuck with uh... names. Uh, n no, but they're always there. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. I, I don't fuck with people trying to jump my boy. Okay. It's unacceptable to me. <laughs> we'll say you guys are a little drunk off of the shirt, the single Shirley's that you've each taken. <laughs> <laughs> are these alcoholic? Probably not. <laughs> All right, you guys are back outside the bar. Uh, Jackson Sequoia, meet up with you shortly. Um, can I go over to the woodworker and just check in on, on my? It's midnight, bro. God damn. <laughs> yeah. It's late, check buddy. it there. You know what? I got I got a little okay. confidence from my Shirley Temple buzz. I'm gonna go knock on the door anyway. Hmm. Okay, you uh you knock on the door and uh you start you hear some music actually. Oh, nice. Inside and you don't you don't hear anything. What, you know, what, is, what is his name? Jeremy? Is Jeremy like fucking Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy right now? Perception check? Uh, sure. Perception check. Are you just outside drunk like, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy! Four. <laughs> <laughs> you put your ear up to the door, but you uh, you don't hear anything. <laughs> I'll right. see, just hear the music. Right, I'm gonna go to bed. Alright. Uh, so I assume you guys are gonna want to grab a... Uh, a room at the Stonehill Inn. Yeah, sure. Is it still free? We're back at this place. 
Uh, yeah, it's free for you guys. Um, we'll say Toblerone is uh, he, he's not he's not any, anywhere to be seen. He enclosed early tonight. Hmm. But you guys head upstairs well, well, well. and sleep it off. Yeah. All right, rise and shine in Fandolin. Did we get all our hit points back? Oh wait, I didn't have any missing. Never mind. Yeah. You sleep off the uh, the bar brawl. Well, you weren't involved, but yes, everybody is reset. I'll fight him again. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll I'm have gonna, my day. I'm, I'm gonna have my revenge have, for sure. I'll have my day. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna have my day. <laughs> I will Can I this. take a minute to try to learn these um, spells? Yes. Yeah, maybe you... next time you can blind the bartender for real. <laughs> If you uh, remember what you have to roll I for. Do. I do remember. Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you can look that up. Uh, I assume you're going to stop by the woodworker. Yes. Hold yes. Okay. So uh, you knock on the door and there's again no answer. <laughs> but there's no music this time. Is it just too early now? No, it's it's like, it's, we'll say it's like a nice comfortable 9am. I'm just going to keep knocking until he opens. Alright, you knock a little little... Uh, louder, and he uh, he opens the door, clearly extremely tired and perhaps a bit hungover, and he says, "Oh, it's it's the big guy." Yeah, did, were you raging last night? I heard music. Oh yeah, yeah, a couple of lasses from uh, from the Stonehill Inn came when they closed early. Damn, <laughs> you get down like that? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wow, it's it's crazy. He says, "Oh, say, I've got, I've got your chair." Nice. He Good, uh, he pulls out. Uh, let me uh. Pull this up. I think I put five gold down as a deposit or something. You did. You put five gold down. I'm just going to put it in your inventory because I'm not sure if I can show it. But, uh, yeah, at first glance, it looks to be a fairly well-made folding chair. Maybe a little bit rushed. You can see some parts weren't completely sanded evenly, but doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. I have to roll a d6 on a use? Yep. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna test it out right now. Okay, right roll a D6. Alright, yeah, you, you you plop it out and you take a little seat and it seems to be working just fine. Excellent. Hell yeah. How much? Uh he says ten gold. Alright, I give him Hell gold. yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for your business. Right, he uh he thanks you and he rubs his eyes and says, I'm back to bed. Okay. Do we know where Cragmont Castle is? Yes. I forget how you learned it, we but learned you it from... are aware of its location. We learned it from that fucking weird golem guy, or it was um, Glassstaff who told us. I think we made him spill his guts. That sounds right. Um, so in terms of how far away it is, that is a good question. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's not far at all. It's actually, it's deep, deep into the Neverwinter Wood, um, off of the Fenland. Well, not deep, deep, but it's like in the depths of the Neverwinter Wood, close to the trail that leads to Fandolin. So you you can probably get there in two days if you're proficient in forest travel. Uh, um, I think I. <clears throat> yeah. So Ethan, I can learn the spells. I just have to roll against them. Okay. Let's let's see it. What do you have to beat? So for charm person, I have to be an eleven. Okay. Um, with my wisdom check. So I guess I just roll it. What are you trying to charm? No one. Yet I don't have the spell, so I get that one in my spell book now. Nice, very nice. Um, I'll make a and, note of that. And Misty Step, um, I can do the same thing. I have two of them, so I'm just gonna roll for that one too. Get them. Wow. Both. Okay. And I can't Which get those? one because it's level three. Which one? The lightning. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Were you guys planning on heading out from Fandolin, or was there something else you wanted to do before you leave for the day? No, I mean, I'm planning yeah, my revenge on 
Uh, Mr. Bartender Man. No, I slap you. I don't say it out loud, I think it in my mind's eye. Oh, <laughs> I still slap you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you uh, you you take the trail to the north. Oh, I'm sorry. Down here. What happened and to that, that good good night guy? Did he just like leave? He, yeah, he was headed to Neverwinter to go to the trial of the um, or to to. What did he say he was going for? Some like good good guy stuff. I don't know. Yeah, something anti, related to his like he's part of a council. Anti edgy boy club stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, same boy. All right. So with this difficult terrain, um, I think you have some some sort of benefit, Boldrek, if I'm um, not mistaken. From my class, or not class, my background. Hold on, let me read it. Uh, you have excellent memory for maps and geography, and you can always recall general layout, terrain, settlements, and other features around you. <laughs> In addition, you can find food and fresh water for yourself and up to five other people each day. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll say that um, I think Iggy might have been the one that lets you guys move through the forest more quickly then. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll say that it actually takes you guys three days to find this place through the uh, through the thing, so I'm going to have you roll three travel encounters. Okay. I'll roll one. Yeah, actually, we'll just do two. Okay. I don't kind of I kind of don't want to do one. Okay, no no encounter on the first night, and you find provisions for everybody. No encounter on the second night. And you guys oh, yeah. find the castle late on the third day. It's uh, it's getting close to sundown, uh, but being in the forest, it's quite dark already. Hmm. Do we want to wait until morning, or is it like the dark... Well, I have dark vision. Everyone has dark I think vision, I do, right? too. Dark uh, vision check. Bar I have dark vision. Doesn't. I'm an elf, so yeah. Sequoia has dark vision. I think Bahmir is the only person who does not. Yeah. Yeah, just don't trip over it. Well, I have the I have the power of God on my side, which is much stronger than your night vision. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, totally. Okay. So, yeah, we'll say that even though it's nighttime, you guys are able to get a pretty good lay of the land um, near the castle entrance. Uh, and so you can see that the castle consists of seven crumbling towers of different sizes and heights. Uh, the upper stories are all in varying states of collapse. A short flight of steps leads up to a terrace in front of a main entryway. Past the wreckage of a pair of sundered doors lies a shadowed hall, and round towers loom on either side of the entryway, with dark arrow slits looking down on the terrace. And I will pull up the map now. Do we generally... Uh, this is like a goblin thing. Mostly just goblins here, right? Kragma is the name of the goblin tribe, and yes, everything you've heard has indicated that uh, okay. it's a goblin HQ. It's so dark. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Alright. I see some beds. You can catch some sed shut eye. Yep, I did not get a chance to. It was all. It was too kind of like tight quarters to do actual walls and doors and things. So I'm just gonna like drag things onto the map as you discover them. Okay. All right, I'm searching for traps. Okay. Um, you are searching for traps as you climb the stairs and enter the terrace. There is. I guess follow Jax. You can go first. Okay. Uh, everybody, every as you roll, walk up the stairs. Everybody needs to make a dexterity stealth check. Mm. Stealth. Fantastic. Yep. Mm. Starting it off early, huh? Oh, oh yeah. yes, a natural one. The the thief. Okay. Well, he fucked up. So do the rest of us have to roll now? I got a twenty. Five. Depends on how badly all the group does, I guess. Well, I rolled a natural one, and <laughs> that's pretty bad. This is this is the one check that I was like, oh, this will be fine. Like whatever, I've got like a plus yeah. five bonus to it. <laughs> so, thirty. Can I? <clears throat> I got a plan here, Ethan. So I'm noticing like I he just tripped a little bit, and like while he was tripping, 
kind of watched him trip. So. I'm thinking. I can, oh, can I use my um, prestidigitation to me, make like a, like a counter sound to the sounds we just make? Kind of like a noise canceling headphone? White, white noise? Um, <laughs> genius. Like of opposite frequency and equal amplitude kind of deal? Let me look at the spell description again. It says I can just make a, a, a harmless sensory effect. That's very creative. I like a strong gust. I don't think you can read it because it's a it's a verbal. You have to say something in response, which means you would have you can't. I will allow that in the future if you're preemptively planning for it. Okay. I don't think you can do it reactively after a sound has already been made. (laughs) There's like a crashing (laughs) sound, and then then there's just like a oh. All right, so that said, uh, as you guys are walking up, Jack stumbles, makes a little bit of noise, and everybody is standing here, and you see two goblins kind of peer out the little arrow slits, and they draw their short bows. Oh boy. See us. I'm assuming they see us. Yes. They, for context, goblins also have dark vision. Um, I cast my new Misty Snap. Let's roll initiative first. Okay. What is initiative? A 20? Uh, dexterity, I think. Oh, dexterity? Wow, these goblins. Quick on the Okay. Goblin. Wow, yeah. Um, so it goes Jax, Goblins, Ulrich, Sequoia, Boldrek. And then other goblin. Uh, the goblins. goblins all rolled the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. Enemies they built. One of them rolled an eight first. That was the wisdom check with a difficulty. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Six. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take my two swings of my short sword at. Uh... They are in a tower above oh, you. Oh, they're in a tower. Oh. Yep. In that case, I've got my bow out. Um. I can find it. Right on there real quick. <laughs> Where the heck is it? Can't find it. It's right at the top under your short sword. Oh. Well, you have four short swords. It's under one of your short swords. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Taking my shot. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see some damage. That's a hit. So you're going for the northern one? Oh yeah. Uh, How do I do that? What do you do with this? Wait, I have to roll a critical, right? Yeah, when you click damage, it gives you a button for critical hit. Oh. Okay. (laughs) All right. You're able to snipe the goblin to the north. Um, he falls down, and you do not see him pop back up. Nice. Dead. All right, the goblin to the south uh, sees that you killed his buddy, and he pops a shot towards you. Towards. What's your armor class? Jack? Uh, 14. All right, he misses. Who's next? Ulrich, I think. The god. Bahamir. Did Bahamir roll? Ooh, Bahamir's not here. Ulrich I'm is here. before Bahamir. Bahamir rolled a 12, Ulrich is 13. Um, hmm. I don't think I can do anything, really. Yeah, I can't really... I don't have any spells or anything that are useful here. I mean, are we alerted, alerted, or have these two goblins just started shooting their bows at us? They've started shooting their bows at you. Okay, but they haven't screamed or anything? Um, not yet. Hmm. Drop a silence on them. Can you do that? I don't have a spell like that. Boo. Put one of them to sleep. Why not just ray a frost him through the fucking little gap in the wall? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try to put him to sleep. Okay. So, starting with the creature, is this spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. 
Uh, roll 5d8. The total is how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within range are affected in ascending order of their current hit points, ignoring unconscious creatures. And there's no there's no kind of check or anything, so I cast it and it just works, I guess. Starting with the creature okay. spells. Hit points. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. It's just low damage, right? It doesn't do damage. Roll five so, it, no, so this is... So now it can affect 20 hit points worth of creatures. So how many hit points does this goblin have? Seven. So now it can only affect 13 more hit points worth of creature. Okay. Since the other one's dead, I guess it's just over now. So this goblin's asleep. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, nice. He's, he's chilling. Nice. <laughs> Way to keep it quiet. I like that. All right, who wants to go up and butcher that one guy? Nice little, you know. Nice little throat slit real quick. Yeah. I will happily do it. I will be okay. back. I will, I will handle this. <laughs> All right. Happily. I, uh, I also hate goblins. Also, where's Droop? Do we know? <laughs> Droop? Just... Oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll say, the Droop. We'll Droop say the Droop's with you guys. I forgot nice. to add him in Vandalin. Okay, you are running in and trying to find a way up to get that goblin? You're the only person? <laughs> no, Bahamir is the one who volunteered. Okay, well, it's sneaky sneak, buddy. You are the only person who does not have dark fishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I, I'll go with him. It's and, okay. Uh, How tall uh, is I, the... You know what? Actually, Bahamir, I'm gonna... I think uh, you've got... You do have the power of God. On your side, uh, so I'm gonna have exactly. you roll. Got the power of God, man, man, on my side. At the beginning exactly. of every turn, I am going to have you roll a religion check, and if you beat a ten, then you have dark vision for that turn. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> great. I love it. How tall Let's are these towers? I have... Um, the towers. Yeah. Good question. Are they like climbable? I have to beat a ten. They are approximately like they're like two to three stories. Yeah, you have to beat a ten. Yeah. Okay. But they're they're pretty they're pretty rough around the edges. I think you could you could try and climb it maybe like a difficulty of like. Why aren't 15. you proficient in religion, dude? You're a paladin. <laughs> I'm not proficient in religion. All right, you do not you do not see anything as you run in. Um, let's see. Proficient in animal quickly. handling. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> And intimidation, I'm, I'm fucking wicked good at that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Medicine. Medicine and persuasion, also good at that shit. Acrobatics, pff, dope at that shit. Alright, I do hate to say it, um, but you ran in first. Jax had already gone this turn, so he can't follow you in. Ah. Oh yeah, um, combat, right? Yep. And you okay. will need to roll a dexterity saving throw. So I can find him? Uh, no. You don't know what's happening. You're in the <laughs> you dark. Don't, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you're down. You're down here. It's just fucking full like, sprint to the, I'm to the door. I'm stuck here because I can't see. Is that the case? I'm stuck here because I can't see. Well, you just have to roll a dexterity saving throw to find out. Okay, at the very last second, you notice that you were about to step over, a, step onto a tripwire, but you, uh, you, you take a step back. Whoa. I feel All like right. I have something that can help me here. I think, I hate to say it, but we are already at 8 o'clock, and this could Ooh. be a good time to pause the game. Okay. Cool. Okay. I look Before forward to exploring you. this castle together with you guys next session. I look forward to it. Nice bar fight, by the way. That was fun. <laughs> you guys yeah. got your ass beat. I think, you know, you guys, you guys, uh, yeah. You made us roll D4s. That's not fair. 
Yeah. Alright, guys, I'll see ya. Like we got fucking nerds. And you're over there picking fights with the bartender. No, the bartender <laughs> picked a fight with us, and then I had to step in. The bartender wasn't being such a pussy. I had to fight him. Well said. Alright, see you guys. Alright, bye guys. <laughs>